Hello everyone and welcome back to the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's find out what happened on the third week of July. First up, LIG Next One unveils 2.75 inch low cost guided imaging rocket during RIMPAC. LIG Next One introduced the 2.75 inch low cost guided imaging rocket during the Rim of the Pacific Exercise or RIMPAC, the world's largest maritime exercise organized by the US. RIMPAC which marks its 28th anniversary this year, is a drill conducted by the U.S. Navy to enhance the ability to protect maritime routes and interoperate allies' military capabilities among Pacific Island countries. A 2.75-inch low-cost guided imaging rocket was developed in 2016 to respond to target movements, and it is equipped with a guidance and control system in a small diameter of about seven centimeters and can respond to multiple targets at the same time. For our second story, President Yoon visits Pangyo Information Protection Cluster. President Yoon, who attended the 11th Information Protection Day ceremony held at the Pangyo Information Protection Cluster, stressed that cybersecurity is key to international security and explained the government's policy direction to strengthen cybersecurity in South Korea. Regarding responding to the global rise in cybersecurity threats, President Yoon said, we will strengthen the cybersecurity response system in which the private and public sectors closely cooperate and establish a comprehensive information sharing analysis system between the private and public so that we can efficiently prevent and respond to cybersecurity threats. Next on the agenda, SK Biosciences domestic number one vaccine, effective against the Omicron variant. SK Bioscience announced that Korea's number one COVID-19 vaccine developed by the company shows a neutralizing antibody response to the Omicron variant BA1 when inoculated with a booster shot. With the possibility of another spread of COVID-19 this summer, attention is being paid to whether the domestic COVID-19 vaccine will be key to a new quarantine measure. SK Bioscience analyzed the cross-neutralization of booster shots through an extended study of Phase 1 and 2 clinical trials of SkyCoV-1 GBP510, a synthetic antigen-type COVID-19 vaccine, and confirmed the immune response to the Omicron variant. SkyCoV-1 has previously proven its immunogenicity and safety through global clinical trials. In phase three global clinical trials of 4,037 adults aged 18 or older, it was confirmed that the antibody conversion rate, meaning the proportion of subjects whose neutralizing antibodies increased more than four times after vaccination, was 98% higher. Next, we're going to look at Hanguk Tire, who strategically launched a brand, Laofen, strategically targeting the global market in South Korea. Hong Tire and Technology has newly launched its global brand Laofen in the domestic market. Hong Tire said Laofen is characterized by its excellent quality, competitiveness, and performance while having reasonable prices, adding it has already proven its technological prowess and more than 7 million units are being sold annually in 80 countries, including Europe and the United States, which are advanced automobile markets. First, S-Fit AS is an ultra-high performance tire that provides excellent high-speed driving handling performance, a soft and comfortable ride, and silence. Asymmetric patterns were applied and efficient drainage was provided through four wide straight tread grooves, increasing braking power and driving performance even on wet surfaces. That's it for our headlines this week. Let's take a look at the quick news of that week. Cacao Brain Galax conduct research on a new drug design platform based on artificial intelligence. Under the contract, the two companies will develop an AI-based antibody new drug design platform to create new antibody treatments. They will push ahead with an antigen antibody binding structure and binding force prediction as a base technology, antibody design applying underlying technology, and experimental validation of design technology for the next five years based on Cacao Brain's know-how in developing ultra-large AI technology and Galaxy's protein design technology. Our second quick news of the week, 
Naver Cloud launches a Workbox e-contract service. Workbox, a cloud-based file sharing service, supports a secure and efficient collaboration environment through strong security. File sharing is possible anywhere with any device, and files can be safely managed with real-time synchronization and recovery functions. Using the newly linked electronic contract service, you can take care of anything from an electronic signature to contract management all at once in the workbox. Taxi and airport pickup reservation services are available through overseas travel menus on the travel tab within the Kakaoti app and users can also access it through a recommended link service on booking tickets for Guam through Kakaoti International Flight. And that's it for the Pongirl Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sikarist and I will see you next week.